So you stole a keg and now you want to know how to cut the top off to make it into a brew kettle. So here's the first thing you do. You figure out if there's any pressure in this thing before it sprays beer in your face. And uh, what you do is lay, it on, lay the keg on its side and use a screwdriver and press this ball down. Alright, so I know there's no pressure in this one. So you won't get any hissing. But if there is pressure, leave it on its side and then drive a finishing nail or a screwdriver between the ball and the seal here and uh, let the pressure bleed off. Okay, once you do that, you want to take the valve apart. There's a recess right here. See the snap ring holding everything together? You stick your screwdriver in here and pop pop a free end out of that snap ring. Then work your way around. Take the snap ring out. Now this might be a little bit uh, stuck. Uh, there's a gasket in here and it, it could get stuck. What you're going to do is take a bigger screwdriver and uh, you turn this counterclockwise and give this thing a tap with a hammer and get it to turn so that there's a keyway right there. That pops out. No problem. Now pour the beer that's in there into a bucket when your stupid friends come over asking for beer, hand them that bucket. Now if you want to mark the, the uh, the circle, if you're going to do a manual cutting method, you're going to want to get a, a loop of string. Just, just tie a knot in the end here, made a loop out of it, and drape it over the center neck here. Get yourself a Sharpie marker, and I'm not taking a cap off because I don't want to put a line on this keg, but put your tip through the string like that, and then holding the Sharpie as vertically as possible. Just go around making your mark. Of course I like to make things a lot more complicated than just drawing a circle so I made this contraption. I call it a jig. This is a jig to hold my angle grinder at a fixed distance from the center of the keg. Now this is a two inch hole saw and it just happened that the outside diameter of this hole saw is almost exactly the same as the inside diameter of the valve uh, neck on the top of the keg. So I use this as a pivot point and put a bolt through it and attach it to this base. Then I mounted a, another piece of wood at a 90 degree angle to this using some screws and some glue. And then I'm able to clamp the grinder vertically against that piece of wood. So the way that it works is you slip this down in there and I use a small spacer right here so I can push down here to stabilize it because it does have a little bit of uh, play here. But you can see how the blade is fixed at a or held at a fixed distance from the center pivot so when we go around it's cutting a perfect slot all the way through so I've also heard of people taking up to an hour to grind through these kegs and I can assure you that it doesn't take that long you just have to go around with some even pressure and um, it takes me about five or six minutes now if I have to mention that you should be using hearing protection and eye protection to grind through stainless steel. I want you to stop right now.
quicker. What gets you drunker quicker? What comes in bottles or in cans? Beer. Can't get enough of it. Beer. How we really love it. Beer. Makes me think I'm a man. Beer. I could kiss and hug it, beer. but I'd rather chuck it. Got my belly out to here. Beer. I could not refuse it. I could really use a beer. Beer, beer, beer. Beer, 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 beer. beer. I can't remember how much I have had. I drank a 12 pack with my dad. Uh. That's my son, the drunken manly stud. I'm proud to be his bud. Here, have some pretzels. No, I'll call it quits. Those things give me the schlitz. <laughs> Drink with your family. Drink it with your friends. Drink till you're fat. Stomach distends. Beer is liquid bread. It's good for you. We like to drink till we spew. Okay, so about 15 minutes to make the jig, and then about 25 to 30 minutes to cut all three holes, and they're all the same size, and they're completely round, so all I need to do now is dress these up with a, a little bit of uh, grinding, and then a quick sanding on the edge so I don't cut my arms up, and then uh, we're done.